the spacecraft is also going to uh, wait for the solar panel deployment. So the team spacecraft is looking at whether the panels are deployed or not. So we'll get a confirmation soon. So as far as we are concerned, the mission is uh, very well as far as the rocket is concerned. So it has placed the satellite in the right orbit. Uh, the SpaceX two satellites are moved. Uh, you would have seen in the animation that they moved little uh, one behind the other. So over the period of time for the days, it will pick up further distance, uh, travel to almost a 20 kilometer distance away. And then the rendezvous and docking process will start. Uh, and we hope that the uh, the docking process can happen in the in another one week. Uh, the nominal time is going to be approximately 7th of January. Uh, so I'm waiting for the panel deployment status. I think you have the status. Yes, sir. yes. so I would like to say that the panels of the satellites have been deployed successfully. So congratulations to the entire team uh, of the PSLV project who put the satellite in the right orbit. Uh, also, the SpaceX team, uh, who worked a uh, very innovative, novel, cost-effective docking demonstration mission using two small satellite bus architecture. So, congratulations to them as well. And also, two very important parties of this mission is the POEM-4, where we have 24 payloads uh, hosted, which are from uh, the uh, startups, uh, industries, academic institutions, research laboratories, and also from ISRO centers. All the R&D payloads are there waiting for testing in the coming uh, days, in fact in months. So congratulations to them for successful accomplishment of all the mission objectives through the poem. Uh, so once again, thank you. Uh, before I uh, hand over, I would like to request the mission director, Mr. Jayakumar, to speak a few words. Thank you, thank you sir. So, hearty congrats to Team ISRO for venturing into the exciting domain of uh, space docking. Uh, this mission is once again a poem intensive mission. We have 24 uh, payloads on board uh, and uh, congratulations to the team uh, who have developed these payloads adhering to our schedules and congratulations to InSpace for facilitating the delivery of these payloads. Uh, this time uh, we are flying uh, the indigenous uh, Vikram 3201 based uh, mission management computer in POEM. Also we have interesting experiments like uh, space robots doing debris capture and inform walking, then uh, plasma smeric and uh, electron density measurements. Three biological experiments are there, advanced inertial sensors, green propulsion systems, etc. And uh, this month, in fact, uh, we had uh, two launches of uh, PSLV from the same uh, launch pad, that is the first launch pad. So after the first launch, the SDAC team, SHAR team, was very uh, uh, quick in uh, refurbishing the launch pad, special uh, thanks to them and also to the teams in VSSE. We also had the movement of the fully integrated vehicle that, that is uh, up to the PS4 stage from PIF to MST. So let me thank the SDAC and uh, uh, VSSE teams for uh, making this possible. On this occasion, let me thank uh, Chairman Isro, who is a role model for all of us, and all the centre directors for the ardent support provided, and to the mission executives, uh, Sri Damodaran, Chandramouli, Grahadure, Raghavendra, and Surendran, who have worked as a coherent team. I thank all the SDS and SR agencies uh, spread across different centres for their tremendous efforts to make this uh, launch uh, on schedule. Let me thank, take this opportunity to thank uh, Chairman and members of LAB, MRR, FRR, ORC, and all the DRTs for the extensive reviews and clearing all systems. I place on record our deep appreciation for our industry partners for the key role they play in realizing different systems and carrying out the integration of the vehicle uh, as per schedule. Let me also thank my own uh, PSLV project team for their tireless efforts put in for the past few months. Thanks to the admin and auxiliary staff who have supported our campaign activities. Uh, finally, I thank our uh, dear family members uh, for understanding us and uh, providing wholehearted support for keeping our mission successful. Wishing all of you a happy new year 2025. Jai Hind. The concept of the docking experiment uh, in, in orbit has been a long journey in terms of conceptualization, uh, the architecture of these two satellites that came about, and building it over uh, many years of work done by the team at URSC, URRAW Satellite Center. Uh, the current uh, satellite project director uh, will speak to you now. Uh, respected Chairman Isro, and our various center directors and distinguished members of our ISRO community who are all assembled here, and my dear colleagues. Good evening to all of you. At the outset, I would like to congratulate our PSLV team 
for the two successive successful launches that in a month, I think it's a record, and for proving that way that ro vehicle's robustness once again. You have also placed our twin babies in a perfect circular orbit as per our requirement, and I'm happy to share the news that our solar panels are successfully deployed, and the strikes out are on their journey, unfolding their wings towards the docking experiment, uh, towards the dock docking experiment, which is expected to be happening around January 1st week. This mission is very interesting and challenging, not just because of our space docking experiment, the interesting uh, 4EM4 payloads, which are also unique and futuristic in nature. Let me congratulate all the our 4EM team members, payload team, for their further operation success. On this happy occasion, I would like to of uh, crossing this important milestone of our space, space project, I thank our Chairman ISRO and Director URSC for their valuable guidance and support provided during the entire period. Also, I would like to put on record my gratitude and appreciation to all our earlier program directors, project directors, and project executives for their significant contribution. Also, SpaceX has undergone a thorough review mechanisms various review mechanisms. I would like to put on record by sincere appreciation and gratitude to all our committee members, chairmen, for their invaluable effort, guidance, and contributions. As you are aware, the space sector is going through a phase change to enable the private participation in a big way to meet our growing demands as per our latest policy, space policy guidelines. As an enabler, SpaceX was assembled, integrated, and tested at an vendor premises for the first time. As she earlier, many, many other industries also have significantly contributed for the fabrication and testing of the subsystem packages. I would like to take, take this opportunity to sincerely thank all the industry partners for their valuable contributions in growing our space ecosystem. My appreciation to our admin, accounts, purchase, stores, transport, canteen, medical, and maintenance teams for their effort in ensuring all our team members are able to concentrate on their work peacefully. Last but not at the least, I'd like to thank my entire project team who, for their sincere and untiring hard work and their family members for, make, for their understand, better understanding of the situation. I'm sure that with that kind of a support and effort put forth, we will be successful in meeting all the mission objectives of docking and docking power transfer, and payload operations. Let us pray and wish for the same. Best wishes to all of us, and happy advanced new year. Jai Hind. Uh, thank you, Surendran, uh, the satellite director. Now, uh, what we are all anxiously going to wait is the operation of the SpaceX docking. I think the very innovative architecture of the docking mechanism and the further mission process have been no, fully validated using extensive testing and demonstration in URO Satellite Center. So uh, before we go into that operations, there will be a few days of gap, uh, and the operations will happen at uh, Control Center from ISTRAC Bangalore. Uh, but when we, before that actual act activity happened today, I would like to request the director of URO Satellite Center to speak about what is going to be happening in the coming few days. Good evening. Congratulations to everyone for this uh, spectacular and uh, perfect launch of the SpaceX 01 and 02 satellites into the circular 475 kilometer, 55 degree orbit as intended. As uh, Chairman was uh, mentioning, uh, the activity for us starts now. Um, the vehicle has given a small delta V by delaying the second satellite separation by about three seconds. And this will, about 10 meters per second rate, this distance will grow. And uh, we are expecting by tomorrow evening, the two satellites will get separated by about 20 kilometers. At this point, we will start using the onboard propulsion system on one of the uh, two satellites to arrest the drift so that we maintain uh, 20 kilometer distance between the two satellites and like a twins they will be going around in the same orbit with the same speed. We have to wait for four days for the appropriate 
some orientation for the docking to happen because in this orbit the sun is going to go all around the spacecraft body so we require another four days of wait for the sun relative position to come in a favorable condition so that in the docking orientation the two spacecraft will generate sufficient power at this point again we will initiate the drift of the two satellites so that the 20 kilometer distance is progressively reduced to 5 kilometers 1.5 kilometers like that it will reduce and after we reach 5 kilometer onwards we are going to enable the inter satellite rf link between these two satellites so that the two satellites will talk to each other and exchange their own position attitude this kind of information they will exchange which will enable us to evaluate the software logics which are there in the spacecraft and also the several new sensors that have been developed by our laboratory for electro optic systems bangalore these sensors will be one by one evaluated for their fitness for initiating this uh, docking sequence so uh, docking sequence will start once the inter satellite distance is reduced to 1.5 uh, kilometers from there onwards three different algorithms are going to be used guidance algorithms are going to be used to minimize the propulsion uh, propellant consumption but achieve the required movement between the two satellite without actually deviating too much away so that the sensors do not uh, lose a line of sight among these two this is very innovative way this has been uh, done and once we reach 3 kilometers the final sorry 3 meters the final guidance uh, algorithm will be initiated which will be a constant velocity constant velocity pv guidance it is called the with the constant velocity of about 10 mm per second the chaser satellite will go and enter into the target satellite this will be detected by another sensor on board the satellite which will initiate the docking sequence inside the two satellite so with the initiation of this sequence the latches will be released and the clamps on both side will try to grab each of the satellite so that from both side the satellite will try to hug each other and once they hold each other together the the ring which has been extended on the chaser satellite will be ex, will be retracted so that the target satellite will be pulled towards the chaser satellite and the two satellites will become as a single unit and here the rigidization will be carried out that that means that you require a minimum force of more than about 25 newton to even uh, give a small separation between these two satellites so the two satellites will get rigidized and then the initiation of the power transfer mechanism will be done where we will transfer power from satellite 1 to satellite 2 this will be used to uh, power a heater in the satellite 2 which will demonstrate to us that the power transfer has indeed taken place and that will also be seen on that uh, day of the docking itself after this the com the combined two satellite composite will be controlled by the control system of one of the satellite this is also an important new requirement enabling technology for future where we go and dock it to the international space station like that our bharati antrik uh, station or any other uh, two satellite when we are docking together we should be able to control the entire composite with only one control system that is going to be demonstrated then the two satellites will get separated and move away so that the independent payload operations will happen so this is the sequence of activities we are hoping that we will achieve this uh, docking by the 7th of january in forenoon uh, all all systems working well and all uh, our logics working as per our plan uh, this is the sequence of activities uh, the fedex mission itself is a uh, is a uh, demonstration of the tenacity of uh, our teams uh, because as the chairman mentioned this work uh, as a thought experiment started in around 1989 and uh, at that time nobody uh, nobody thought that this is required for us but the tenacity uh, is seen 
so that finally when the uh, the project was approved in 2016 we have uh, realized this over several years Demo developed several test beds several test beds uh, for validating the mechanism as well as the docking sequence the sensors large amount of work has uh, been done it has been a combined effort of so many people across the isro centers as and as well as industry and as project director already mentioned uh, this is also one of the trailblazer for our industry involvement in the satellite integration and testing so far large satellites have not been realized in, in the industry by themselves this is the first time these two satellites have been integrated and tested in the industry and we hope that this is going to be the first of several such satellites which will be done by the industry on their own that is what we all wish and uh, once again let me thank the pslv team for providing a perfect launch because a good start is half the work done so that has uh, happened now the good start has come and uh, i'm sure our teams right now at bangalore tracking the satellite and preparing for the next operations are going to be busy for the next few days thank you very much for your uh, patience for hearing me the whole thing and uh, wish you all the very best for very very happy new year because this year started on a bang with the exposat launch again by pslv on january 1st and we are ending this year almost on the last day of the year with another pslv launch with the spadex which is a technology mission what else we can ask for when we are working in a technology organization and this is our gift new year gift to the nation indian nation thank you jai hind thank you so much uh, uh, what i need to say that already has been told by shankaran uh, so uh, i won't prolong uh, so with me my team uh, especially the directors of all centers are here uh, to save time i am not requesting each one to speak but their contribution in providing the systems for the rocket as well as the satellites is really important their leadership for building the very resilient uh, innovative team uh and specifically today i would like to thank each one of you for your contribution and work and that is what is left behind for us to accomplish the docking mission as well but very important point which i would like to speak and then conclude the we are waiting for the ps4 stage to change its orbit it will be happening any moment uh, we are in the uh, data non availability zone we will get soon the confirmation and the whole night we will be watching that part uh, but we won't keep you waiting for it we will get to know about it tomorrow morning uh the orbit of the ps4 stage will change to 350 kilometers where the poem payloads will be initiated uh, and uh, from based on the ground commands each of the payloads will be tested there are very interesting payloads on board which uh, many of you would have already read uh, from our websites about the robotic activities uh, as well as many of the interesting life science related payloads as well as uh, propulsion uh, related payloads uh in the poem so we have the teams from many many uh, startups industries academic institutions uh, enabled by in space uh, to br to be brought to the poem there are 10 payloads from in gs and there are around uh, uh, 11 payloads from isro centers testing various technologies and uh, we would wish that uh, all of them go very well uh, and that is a work for us in the new year 2025 to see all of this happen including the docking uh so i will say goodbye to you at this moment uh, uh for the from the control center at sadhya savan space center and uh, wish you a very very happy new year 2025 in 2025 we will have many missions uh, to start with we we have the mission of uh, gslv launching the nvs02 in the month of january so when we until the, we announce that mission uh, i let me say uh, uh, good night and bye from sadhya savan space center sri harikota thank you